I know what this is. Uh, you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings. Uh, there's some, it, it, there, there's some medial, uh, there's some medial movement. This down. Lay on your back. Now you just heard those cracks at the start of the video, so you want to stick around for the rest of this one because we've got some immense chiropractic adjustments. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and let's get into it. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. I feel like I have some like lower back pain sometimes, like it, like when I'm stretching or something. Like, How often do you feel that? Um, every time I stretch. What do you stretch for? I go to the gym, okay. like to stretch before the gym and then after. All right, do you ever have any neck pain? Or I do have tension in my shoulders. Do you ever get any headaches? Um, I did get a couple. I usually never get headaches, but I did get a couple headaches. Remember where on your head you felt the headache? It was like in the back okay. of my head. So looking at your spine, there's a little bit of a postural change here. A little bit too much looking down. Mm -hmm. So like changing your posture will significantly change the amount of tension mm -hmm. that's running through your shoulders up into your head. Just looking at this, I can tell that some of this is postural. Mm -hmm. and then you just have like this dryness in the skin here that in the lower back. That happened after I started working. Like I, because it's like, a, it's an uncontrolled co climate. So mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is where the tension is. As we come up to the neck, it's actually not as bad here. It's still warm, but this is where it's the warmest. And then it significantly drops off. And then where this dry skin is, it's, it's actually almost... All right, I'm going to push into your spine a little bit. Okay, we'll start the, with the SI joints. I'm going to place my fingertips on the top of your hips, okay? okay? This helps me measure where we're at. We're going to see the SI joint on the right here. Any tenderness here? Uh, a little bit. How about compared to this side? Same, more? It's a little less. Any tension, discomfort? No. Here? No. There's a little bit of edema, a little bit of swelling and fluid build up here at this L4. A little tender? Yeah. How about this side? Is this side tender? Uh, a little bit. Tenderness, huh? Mm -hmm. It's pretty sore. Mm -hmm. But like generally all around, do you feel this more on the right or left? I feel like right. You're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, just let your hips relax. Good. You're going to feel my fingertips here. I'm going to trace up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's just slightly lower on the right, even from the top. So no internal or external rotation, just possible movement of the right ilium posterior and inferior like this, or maybe the left ilium anterior and superior like that. So there's no rib humping to the left or right, very symmetrical. Okay, stand up back towards me is that during the toe off, there's an inversion on the right. The very last stage, there's like kind of like a little giddy up, and then it's causing the knee to buckle inwards on the right. The foot stance on the left foot, uh, there's, some, it, it, the, there's some medial, uh, there's some medial movement. It just like moves in towards the midline. All right, looking at the shoulders, go ahead and keep walking. Normal arms swing both sides. The shoulders look almost even from left to right. Let's go turn around and go the other way. Okay, to the right. Let's try that again. Walk again. Yep, from the right, uh, from the front, there's more movement to the right, and then from the back, there's more movement to the left. So what that tells me is that that right hip has more range of motion than the left hip. Right leg is short. That confirms the standing glute test. Let's look at the pelvis here. Do you have any pain, tenderness? I'm going to push into your sacrum, okay? Uh -huh. Do you have any discomfort, tension when I push here? Um, not really. Okay, I'm going to push now into your L5. Any pain, discomfort there? Uh -uh. Here. Uh -uh. Here. Okay, right or left, do you feel one more than the other? Left. I'm going to push down into your left hip again like I did before. Do you still feel that same tension? Mm, not so much. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we removed some of the tension in your pelvis by putting the block underneath of you. Pressure's okay?
Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Now, coming up to this trap area where that tension was. Good. Okay, same thing. Gentle breath in through the nose and out. Good. Sinking in shoulders, letting it all go. Then and then at the top of your breath, when you start to breathe out, that's when we're going to push, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, deep breath in, far in as you can go. Good. And out. Let your shoulders down. Good. Do that breath one more time all the way in. Good. And let it all out. Oh this direction like that, just like the other adjustments. I'm following your breath as you breathe out. I'm going to bring this hip down, and then we're going to push like that, okay? All right, so finding the vestibular ridge here. Deep breath in through your nose. Good. And out. Go to bring this down. Good. Lay on your back. We're going to bring the hip down like this and the shoulder up like that and then push, okay? Going to see it. Deep breath in and out. Good. Sinking. Good. Letting it all shoulders go. Shoulders kind of sink in here. Good. And take a deep breath in through your nose. Out. Good. We're going to bring this down. Go a little bit more. And you're back. Up. Okay. Right is still short. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. It gets longer. Go back to center. Now turn to the left. That evened out your legs. It's telling me your head wants to move in that direction. Go back. That was quick. You're doing great. You're going to do fine. Okay, deep breath in and out. Good, let this relax. Good. Oh my god. It's like so loud in my head. <laughs> uh. It's right there. Hold on, just let it all drop. I don't think it's going to crack. Why? I don't know. Don't say that. <laughs> One more time. Be <laughs> relaxed. Good. Um, so we start with the ileocecal valve. This is the window in between the large and the small intestine. This is a diaphragm manipulation. Your deep belly breaths. Good belly breath. Have you done yoga before? Mm-hmm. Hard. Squeeze. Just relax. Get that relax. Let it go. Just relax. Good. I'm just following your breath. Then as you breathe out, we're gonna use the towel to pull in that direction like that. Okay. Can I hold this? No, nah, don't hold that. You don't okay. wanna, you don't want to hold on. You don't wanna be you wanna let it go. You wanna be in the flow. You wanna be relaxed. Your breathing. Good and out. You can close your eyes. Take out the visual system. Good. <laughs> Breathe. Of course you're gonna feel it. That was amazing, by the way. 
It went all the way down. I felt your entire spine move. Yeah, so did I. In ways <laughs> oh that my it's god. Never moved before. Huh? In ways that it's never moved before. Jeez. Relax, dude. I can't Where breathe. Are you How's it feel? Let's check it. Neck. Um, feels fine. I feel like it's kind of like hurts a little bit. It's fine. It's okay. You're allowed to feel it. It's a big, powerful adjustment. Low back. Um, still like it. It's the same in my neck. Like it's like. Mm -hmm. Kind of hurts a little bit. Is it normal for Tur? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Alright, uh, do a hamstring stretch. Let's see what happens. Better than usual? I think it just stretched today, so. Yeah, I think a little bit better. Because it's not so, I feel, it doesn't feel as strained, like in the lower part. Alright, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good, now look up at the ceiling. Good. One more time, look up. Good. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.